Okay, let's say that you have a part that you're making um, a drawing for, and you really want to change the size of your drawing. Like it, it, you started out with an A sheet, and now you're realizing you need maybe a B sheet or something like that. Well, in order to change your settings, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little button over here, and you'll see this comes up. And if I double click on sheet one up here, which I can rename anytime I want to, um, it tells me a few things. The scale, right? So currently everything's set to a one-to-one -one scale. I could change that if I wanted to, All right? So I could do a one-to-two scale. Everything would change, uh, and so on. One-to-three. All right, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to go one-to-one. -one. I can also change it so that it's a portrait style. So it's fitting vertically instead. So there might be a good reason for me. Let's let's say I do that. You know, maybe if I'm only doing the top view and a front view, maybe it's important for me to just have more space vertically. So I could then just use um, that instead. All right, so it just gives me something to a little bit of something to work with. Um, also, if I go back to those settings, um, I could choose like a bigger style sheet. So if I go to a B style, all right, now I have a lot more room. Oops. Um, I have to make sure to hit the check mark when I choose it. So B style, check. All right, so now I have a lot more room to work with, or I could zoom in on the parts a little bit more, use a different scale. Uh, so if I go back and change the scale, maybe it's a two to one scale. All right, a little bit bigger. Ah, that's probably too big, right? So it just kind of depends on what size sheet you get. Um, the reminder is that as you go as you start with A in the alphabet, an A size sheet is an 8.5 by 11. And then basically every time you go down the alphabet, each letter you go down, there's more, um, it's double the space. So this is uh, an 11 tall by 17 wide. So it's like having two 8.5 by 11s next to each other. And then the next size, a C size, would be um, uh, 22 or sorry, it ended up being 17 this direction and 22 that direction. So it just kind of gives you an idea of, of what the size of the sheets are.